Good morning everyone and happy Wednesday. Um, so excuse the naked face, no makeup today because I'm not going anywhere. <coughs> excuse me. Um, so yeah, it's still morning, 9.15. So I've just started puttering around here doing some stuff that needs done. I have um, my iced tea. I make homemade iced tea. So that is, I just started that on the stove. Getting ready to do some laundry. Puppy is still hanging on. Um, he's, you know, he's still going downhill little by little. I've been force feeding him food um, just so he doesn't starve. Uh, last night though, he did spit some of that up. So I think his body seemed to the point where it, it just can't handle the food anymore. But again, he doesn't appear to be in any pain or discomfort he's just tired his little body's tired of fighting so um, I just spend my day yesterday I really didn't do much of anything other than clean my office I just spend my day sitting with him when I leave the room and come back in it's like he's looking for me it's like he doesn't want to be alone so I'm spending as much time with him as possible sometimes I just need to get up and stretch my legs a little bit though go to the bathroom things like that um, but he, he still sleeps well when he falls asleep. He's snoring. He's in a nice deep sleep. So he's still resting well. Um, it's just a very difficult decision to make. I think emotionally I'm about ready. Um, this is a long process to watch an animal just slowly, you know, fade out of your life. And I've done it before. Um, we did it with our two beagles two months apart. One died in February and one died in April. We had to make the decision to put them both down um, back in 2014, I guess it was. So it'll soon be three years and I'm doing this again and I swore I'd never do it again after the Beagles and here I am again. Um, but this will be it for us for a while because emotionally it's, it, it's tough and with Mike and I wanting to move and make a lot of changes, I just, I'm, I'm done with the animals for a little bit. But again, I think I'm about emotionally ready. Um, I'm going to be a basket case when I have to do it. But, um, I think because I've had to watch him decline pretty quickly, um, I know it's going to be, um, it's going to be best for him. Um, so... I can't be selfish, um, and Mike is still at that point though. Mike, the, the hard ass that he is, has such a soft side to him that he doesn't like people to see, but I see it. And I was ready to put him down the other day when I took him in, and Mike's like, I can't put an animal down that's still attentive and still sits up and still looks at you. I'm like, well Mike, you can't let them get to the point where they can't even lift their head anymore, then you know they're really suffering, so I think it's just a battle between my husband and I and it's not a battle where we're fighting or anything um he just you know for a guy who used to hunt and fish and kill his own food and skin it out and uh, he's got this side of him that and he didn't used to be that way when him and I first got married he pets did animals didn't belong in a house because he was raised on a farm. You didn't have farm animals. If you had a cat, it was outside in, in the barn killing the mice. And after one year of marriage, I wanted a cat. Um, and I got my way, because I grew up with a cat. I got my first cat when I was four years old for my birthday. She was 21 years old when we put her down. I didn't even take her with me when I moved out and married Mike. Um, because I married Mike when I was 19. So at that point, the cat was only 15. But she was too old to, like, remove her from my mom's house and start her over. Um, she was already um, pretty much deaf at that point. So I left her with my mom, kind of like with Casper. Um, Casper was Caitlin's dog, but she moved out. He became attached to me right away, even though it was her dog. And when she moved to Florida, she just couldn't take him because she knew he would be a mess. He was... He's too old, and he was attached to me. So anyway, I had a cat early on in the marriage, and that was Cody, and Cody lived to be seven, no, 19 when we put her down. Um, we just put her down in 2009. Um, it was February as well for that one, and 
we had owned our own home at that time and my poor husband god love him was trying to dig the frozen ground to bury her in the yard but he did it he did it um yeah and this was a guy who didn't believe in animals in the house and with the beagles it was very heart-wrenching and he didn't want to go through it again and here i am with this dog so i'm done i'm done after this one i need to be um so yeah, my little Casper's still hanging in there. I'm still sitting with him, giving him lots of love. Um, I'm still not sleeping well at night because every time he moves or coughs, I'm awake. So I'm napping here and there. So today, again, just gonna make my iced tea, do laundry. I am going to clean and sweep, um, clean the living room real good and sweep the rugs and carpet real good because um, it's been a little bit since that was cleaned. Um, and there's like dog hair everywhere. So, yeah, I think that's all I'm going to do today. Tonight is Italian pork chops with some Parmesan roasted potatoes and some breaded baked zucchini. And that's going to be our dinner tonight. So I will bring you with me through the day. Come on. Breakfast. All right, I thawed out my pork chops overnight. So right now I just added um, almost a whole bottle of Craft Zesty Italian Dressing. This is an eight ounce bottle. Um, since it's only two pork chops, I really didn't need the whole bottle. So I'm gonna put the rest of this in the fridge for some salad for later, some other night. Um, and these are gonna sit in the refrigerator and marinate all day. So my cleaning for the day is done. Sorry for the noise in the background. The washer is doing its thing. But um, I discovered this drink from another YouTuber um, from Kimmy at She's in Her Apron. She drinks something called a Dirty Coke and she gets it at Sonic. Um, I went to my Sonic and asked for a Dirty Coke and they had no idea what I was talking about. So, so they ended up creating one for me. Um, but I have found a way to just create it here at home. That way I don't have to run to Sonic all the time. And yes, I know soda is bad, but I look at it this way. Everybody has to have some kind of a vice. I don't smoke, I've never smoked, I don't party, and I really don't drink much. Um, wine on occasion, um, no beer, hate beer. So yeah, a soda every once in a while will probably kill me, but yeah, it's not gonna kill me, you know what I mean? So I bought this 
I can only find it through Amazon. I found it in no stores, no liquor stores, no nothing around here. But it is a coconut cream syrup. And I do two and a half full pumps in here. And if I don't have a lime already cut from cooking, I will just use lime juice. But I have a lime from the other night from when I made the shrimp fajitas. So I'm just gonna squeeze a little bit of that and let my lime in there. And then cook. I don't drink diet soda. I don't drink any fake sugar of any kind. If I'm gonna consume sugar, it's going to be real. So that is a dirty cook. So my cleaning is done for the day. I just have to cook yet and finish my laundry, obviously. So I'm gonna go in and binge watch a new YouTuber that I have found. Let me turn this around on me. Don't know if you can see me. Hopefully that's not a horrible angle. It's hard to tell. <laughs> um, but I watch Shelly's home life and I've told you about her before. Love her and her husband and daughter and they're cute little, adorable little pugs. Um, but she mentioned another YouTuber this morning when I was watching her vlog from yesterday or the day before, um, another YouTuber named Karina from another Texan. Gotta love the Texans and gotta love people who live where the weather is nice and not crappy, like out my window. But anyway, her channel is called Life's Little Things, and things is spelled with a Z on the end instead of an S. Um, so after I finished watching Shelly's vlog, I popped on over to Karina's channel and started watching from the very beginning. Love her. Oh my God. Another woman who is, I hate to use the word middle age, but I know she's probably younger than me just to look at her, but she has kids that one is in college, one I think is still in high school, or maybe they're both in college. So I know she's probably a few years younger than me. Um, and Shelly's definitely younger than me, but it's so nice to find some of us older gals that are doing YouTube. It's such a community we have out there. It really, really is. And um, she's not huge yet, like some of the, the big names, um, but she's getting there. She has more subscribers than me, so you go, girl. I'm going to promote you. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to go in here and sit with my little puppy and binge watch Karina until it's time to start cooking. All right, made a quick lunch. This is by no means a new recipe. People eat this all over the internet and it's one of my favorites. I just have a whole tomato and a snacking cucumber, whole avocado, and I've added some onion salt, some lime juice, and some extra virgin olive oil. So again, back to YouTube and back to food. Well, you saw my potatoes, they're in the 
oven. Got my zucchini all ready to put in the oven. Um, they only take like 10 minutes to cook, so they'll be last minute. But I'm starting on my pork chops. Um, now I've, I'm an airhead and I forgot to film when I started these. Um, but if you want to see the full recipe, I can't take credit for this. I found this off of another YouTuber, Shelly from Shelly's Home Life. They're called Tuscan Grilled Pork Chops, but obviously I'm not grilling them. And she got the recipe from SixSistersStuff.com. So you can find the recipe either on Shelly's YouTube channel or on the Six Sisters Stuff website. Um, but very easy recipe. Um, just sauteing my pork chops in a little bit of olive oil. These are the ones that I showed you earlier that I left to marinate all day in the Italian dressing. I put the Italian dressing in here along with what was left in the bottle. And to that I've added a quarter cup of balsamic vinegar, an eighth of a cup of honey, a teaspoon of rosemary, and a half a teaspoon, I think, of black pepper. So what I'm going to do when my pork chops are closer to being done is I'm going to heat this up and bring it to a boil and let it boil for five minutes. That way it takes care of killing any kind of germs that are in this since it was on raw meat. That boiling will get rid of those germs. Um, and then after five minutes of boiling, I'm going to start basting my pork chops with it. So I will show you what everything looks like when it's done. Potatoes. Pork chops and zucchini. Well, that's it. I quit for the night, so um, I will see you in a future video. Thanks for watching.